back to my channel. So I have another weekly vlog for you. This week's quite exciting, so I have a few things coming up. My mum's flying in from China. I have a few events and then obviously I have my birthday. So today I just have a breakfast meeting, so I'm gonna head to that. And then afterwards I'm coming home and me and my sister are driving back to the countryside. I actually have so many things to bring back because I have all my ski stuff. I basically use that home as my <laughs> storage space. My mum's gonna be a bit shocked when she sees like how much stuff I have there but yeah I'm really excited to show you guys like where I grew up it's only like half an hour 45 minutes drive so it's really not that far and then for my birthday I'm going with my mum and my sister for afternoon tea at sketch I've actually never had afternoon tea at sketch but it's one of the iconic places to go to I'm just upset that they changed everything from pink to yellow because I think pink would have Pink is just so cute, but I mean, it still looks really nice. And then my boyfriend's taking me out for dinner. So yeah, I'm just gonna have a shower, get dressed, do a bit of makeup, and then head off to my meeting. just wearing this coat which is like a scarf coat from Totem, my vintage Bottega bag, this H&M jumper and then it just my Levi's dad jeans. I'm also going to wear some Uggs um, but I'm going to put them on just before I leave. some makeup and some skincare for tomorrow this pouch is from glossier it's so cute and then this pouch is from espresso it's like this puffy material which i'm obsessed with and then i've just got my clothes for tomorrow because i'm heading straight to an event i think we're gonna stop by the supermarket on the way home to get my mum some groceries but yeah i'm just gonna pick my sister up and let's drive home Welcome to my room. Well, actually, this wasn't always my room. I used to have a smaller room, but then during lockdown, I convinced my parents to let me move into the bigger room. But this was actually the room that me and my sister shared when we were really young, around like from the ages of about two to six, we shared this room and it was such a vibe. I'll put a picture here, but it was so like Y2K Pinterest style. Also, look what I just found. If you are an OG follower, you'll know that I had my own small business called Daydream Story in about 2020. And I made beaded jewelry, but then I also made like clay jewelry. So I have all my clay rings here. This is what they look like. So during uni, I basically had this business. Um, I used to sell them on Etsy and then I got my own website in the end. But these are just so cute. I mean, they're not really my style anymore, but like there's ones with hearts. And then I did like personalized ones with diamantes on them they're so cute but yeah I've kind of grown out of them and then I also have all these like thank you cards that I made so I made these and got these printed they're so cute I might take some of them home to put in like depop orders or something and I also made all of these so this one says you're the best or worthy I was in like my graphic design phase be kind, dream big, <laughs> so cute. And yeah, this was my logo. I don't know if you can see. 
it says daydream story these were my business cards that i made as well they're so cute so my logo was like a little cloud and it says daydream story and then at the back it says beautifully handcrafted just for and then i wrote the name of the person who made the order that's so cute i really miss kind of having my own like business and doing all the creative side of it i had to shut it down because i needed to focus on my studies and i was also like moving in and out of london so i didn't really have the capacity to store things but yeah i'm just gonna tidy up and then wait for my mum to come <laughs> for my event but I wanted to show you some of the things that my mum got me so I asked her to like order some stuff and bring it over so first is this Korean collagen which I've seen all over TikTok you basically take it at night time and it helps you sleep but it also has collagen in it so I'm excited to see if it like does anything for my skin apparently all the celebrities use it so it must be good and then I got some of the MediHeal toner pads so I've never tried this one, it's the yellow vitamin one. And then I've tried these before, but just got a restock. So the watermide one for moisturization and then also the collagen one, which just helps like firm up your skin. But yeah, that's my like mini haul. And then this is my outfit of the day. So the blouse is from Claudie and then I'm wearing this midi skirt from Brandy. And I'm just gonna wear some boots and also bring my Chanel bag. quite busy but I just went for afternoon tea at Sketch with my mum and my sister and it was so nice like I actually think it's the best afternoon tea I've ever had I haven't tried that many around London but it was really good because I feel like usually with afternoon tea like some of it is yummy and some of it is like weird and like uh, but everything was really good and then I went to this restaurant called Humo with my boyfriend and that was also really nice like we had the tasting menu and again usually with tasting menus everything is kind of just like interesting it's not actually good but at that restaurant everything was actually yummy it was really cool because it was like a fire kind of concept so it was like very cozy vibes when it was raining outside because it's literally been horrible weather in london recently today i just i'm not too much i think i'm just gonna film a bit and then i have a fitting because i'm going to the brits with maybelline on saturday so i booked a stylist and we're gonna go through some of the options for the dresses that sounds so proper like i have a stylist it's my first time using a stylist i basically was like looking for a dress for ages because I wanted something quite special because it's obviously like a red carpet event. I know what I like and I don't like, but I can't find it. Like I couldn't find anything special, like even from renting places. So I just thought I'd use a stylist. Also, it's not like I'm going to wear the same dress again. Also, before those type of events, I get so stressed. Like I get stressed socially and also like just about everything so i think having a stylist is really comforting and just like eases my mind and then the brits tomorrow is actually like in the evening but we're checking into a hotel at like 11 a.m so i've got like five hours to get ready but i just know that time is gonna always pass because i usually like start doing my makeup really slowly and then suddenly <laughs> five hours have passed I'm not sure if I'm gonna vlog that. I might vlog in the hotel a little bit, but probably not too much because I'll be focusing on getting content for like 
Instagram and TikTok. And I also want to upload this vlog on Sunday, so I kind of want to edit it like and sort it out before. My face always gets so red after gua sha -ing. I'm literally so bloated today. I had like quite a lot of drinks at dinner, so I need to like deep off everything before tomorrow. I feel like this vlog has just been all over the place. I don't know. Maybe it's just because my mind has been all over the place this week. But it doesn't feel very like organized. But I guess vlogs are supposed to be video diaries of your week. So maybe it's just not meant to be organized. I think it's usually because I like plan my videos so like intensely. When I'm vlogging, I just pick up the camera and do things spontaneously, which I'm not used to. But yeah, maybe it's better to be a bit chaotic i don't know or maybe you don't find this chaotic at all and i'm just a weirdo <laughs> but anyway i'm gonna do some filming and then i guess i'll see you guys at my fitting i might film my fitting but i'm also not sure because i'm a bit shy and i don't want to like draw attention to myself so i'll see the vibes if not i'll show you like pics of the options anyway <laughs> and admin but this is my outfit that i'm gonna wear to the fitting so i've just got a brandy melville jumper on and then these adenola gray pants i'm obsessed with these the material is so nice and soft and stretchy and then i've just got my vintage bottega bag in my hair i've just got an MEJ clip of course this one's one of my favorites it's called the heartbreaker clip i think it's made of metal and it just feels really heavy and good quality and then i'm just gonna wear my new balance trainers just got back from my fitting and I'm so excited to show you guys what I picked. Um, I think it's a bit risky and out there and kind of different from what I usually wear because I usually wear quite simple pieces but this is quite statementy. It is a bit revealing so are you guys ready? So this is the top. It's literally, it literally looks like a belt. When she pulled it out I was like there's no way I'm wearing that but I tried it on anyway. Um, it's a really nice like satiny material then it's got these like pearly details which is really nice but yeah it is very mini and very like rare. so i'm gonna have to put like sticky tape all down the back to stick it up it goes with this skirt which is like full length maxi out of the same satin material so i guess because it's like a bit open at the top and really covered at the bottom it ties in nicely and it doesn't look too like slatty but it's got like pearls and then these little ribbons i'll put a photo of the model wearing the set on the runway it looks so good it's from a brand called le fame it's actually a chinese brand which is based in shanghai which i really love because both my parents are from shanghai so it kind of ties in with my heritage and i really like representing that just wearing that with some black leather gloves these just elevate the look and make it a bit more elegant and these shoes are from kurt geiger they're just these black pointy kitten heels with some bows on and they look really chic. So yeah, I'm really excited, but also a bit nervous, but I feel like once I'm there and like standing with everyone and everyone's dressed up, I'll feel a lot better, but I am like quite anxious tonight, but it should be fine. Like it always is with these events. Tonight, I'm just having a little spa session with my sister. We're gonna go to the pool, do some swimming and go to the jacuzzi and steam room and stuff just to unwind. <music> And I think I'm going to end the vlog here. But thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I'm sorry if this vlog was a bit all over the place. Or maybe it wasn't to you. But to me, it was all over the place. But I'm still uploading it. I was going to 
finish the vlog after the Brits but I'm worried that I won't like be in the mood for filming or I'll be too stressed to film when I'm at the hotel so I thought I'd just upload this here and if I decide to vlog then it will be in the next vlog but yeah hope you guys have a nice weekend and bye